It's Friday, October 11th, and this is Mr. Arthur's Weekly Webcast. Well, to begin with, I'd like to say thank you all very, very much for your support in the Trip Amazing Race, for benefiting the PTA here at school. Uh, we have hit our fifth tier goal uh, uh, with our count day yesterday, which is just absolutely amazing and outstanding. I just I cannot thank you enough. Uh, with the fifth tier goal, their reward is five one night off homework passes, and they can use those anytime that they want. Um, those can't be used though to get out of projects or uh, uh, studying for tests. But other than that, uh, they're good to take that night off. So when you're busy throughout the holiday season and you're just running around like crazy and you're saying, hey, <laughs> we're not doing all this tonight here. Just, just use this. That's what they're there for. Um, moving on to our sixth tier goal. Hopefully we can hit that with our next count day. And um, I've been thinking long and hard about this uh, sick goal. And I've been trying to come up with something unique and different and new and fun and wow. And I think I've come up with something fun. We're going to have a pancake feast breakfast. And that's right, I'm going to cook. I can do it. And uh, we're going to make pancakes and I'm going to have some blueberries and strawberries and syrup and butter and maybe some whipped cream. I don't know. And uh, yeah, we're going to do it up and, and really I'm not doing chocolate chips. Uh, no. Uh, but uh, we are going to have some fun and do a pancake breakfast here in the classroom with that six tier reward. Moving on from the race, medical forms for Wasiga. Uh, yes, our trip to Wasiga is just over a week away, and I'm terribly excited about it. Can't wait to get back up there. And uh, if you have medical forms, you can drop those off to me next week during conferences. Or on Friday, uh, Miss Mitchell will be out on the cover playground from 6.30 to 7.15, and again from 2.40 to 3, and you can drop off your medical forms with her, and uh, uh, or you can send them in to me, and those medical forms went out on uh, that email I sent you all about a month or so ago, uh, and they were all attached there. If you need them, again, I will uh, be more than happy to email them to you, or I'll have copies here during conferences. Um, also, in regards to Wasika, uh, if you could please pack an extra snack for the bus on Monday that we leave for Wasiga. Uh, we'll eat lunch about 10.30, and that makes it a little long before dinner time. So uh, we're gonna pack a snack that we'll eat on the bus just before we get to Wasiga. Also, in packing uh, with your kids, please pack with your kids. Um, and let them be sure of what they're packing in their suitcase so that they know what they have and that they can identify it. Put your name on everything. Uh, it will make it much easier to find it and get it back to the person who it belongs to. And likewise, please, oh please, oh please, teach them how to roll up their sleeping bag. Please have mercy on your chaperones and uh, rolling up 12, 15, 24 uh, sleeping bags on uh, pack up morning, it, it gets to be a bit overwhelming. So teach them how to roll up their sleeping bags and that would be very, very helpful. Also a reminder, they are going to need to be able to carry everything, their sleeping bag and their uh, suitcase full of stuff. So help them to stack this uh, sleeping bag on their little roller thing and be able to move it from point A to point D and, and maybe even practice just a pinch at that as well. Coming up next week, as you all are aware, hopefully, is conference week. And again, if you need your time for conferences, that is in the collaboration section of the Kids OneNote under Conference tab. And you can double check it there. If you're not sure, drop me an email. I can also confirm that with you as well. Um, it is an early dismissal all next week as well. So the kids will be getting out at 1215. And finally, I just want to remind you all that the kids are invited to join us for their conference. It is about them after all. And having them there, they can understand that mom and dad and teacher and them are all invested in this education process process and they can be a part of their conference and I do encourage you to do that as well. Uh, what's going on in the classroom? Well, in math, we have been working on factoring this week, and uh, this is one of the harder concepts, and this is why I've been pushing multiplication tables all along. And um, with that, we've been learning our divisibility rules and about composite and prime numbers and all that fun and games that comes with it. Uh, reading, we're going to have, uh, or rather, we have been testing all week with uh, taking a touchstone tests with the county and RI and all that other stuff. So it's been kind of a crazy week with that. And finally, writing. Uh, we have been also testing and writing our post-narrative uh, essays to show how we have grown. And then we're going to do our pre- 
informational unit writing this week as well. And finally, social studies. Uh, we have been working on our Revolutionary War, and this week we fought the Battle of Lexington and Concord, and we have started talking about that little letter to King George called the Declaration of Independence. <sighs> That's it. It's been a week, and... Um, it ain't getting any shorter. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and we will see you all next week for conferences. Thank you all for tuning in.